Hey everyone, I'm Lincoln Parks. Welcome to the I'm Local podcast. In a world where big corporations dominate the market, it's easy to forget about the unique and vibrant businesses that make our communities thrive. That's why I created the I'm Local podcast, a podcast dedicated to showcasing the incredible stories and contributions of local businesses just like yours. Each episode, I'll be diving into the heart and soul of a different local business. We'll hear from the passionate entrepreneurs behind the scenes as they share their personal journeys, their business philosophies, and the challenges and triumphs that make ownership so rewarding. Whether you're a longtime resident looking to rediscover the hidden gems in our own backyard or an aspiring entrepreneur seeking inspiration and guidance, I'm Local is here to connect you with the stories that matter most. So buckle up, get ready to be inspired, and join me as we explore the fascinating world of local businesses on I'm Local. My name is Lincoln Parks, and I want to welcome you guys to the I'm Local podcast. Today, I have the opportunity to be speaking with a local attorney, and her name is Sean Council with the Sean Council Law Firm. Welcome to the podcast. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Parks, for having me today. And, and okay, so well, we we have to jump right away. It's not Mr. Parks; it's just Lincoln. I I understand. <laughs> <laughs> so so we'll start with that. But um, Sean, Sean, thank you so much for for jumping on today. So the first question I have for you is, how did you get started in in law? You know, what 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 sparked the interest for you to get started there? Oh well, honestly, uh, <laughs> I was quite the talker as a child, and what happened. Believe it or not, my mother used to go to the hairdresser and um, all the women were in the hairdresser in the salon. I was about eight years old uh, in Philly. I'm from Philly originally. Oh, you're um, from Philly. I'm, okay. I'm, oh, yeah. I'm a Philly girl. But I moved all across the country. And actually, my family's been in Georgia since 1821. So wow. I've just, in essence, come home. But uh, this yes. is my ancestral home for 200 years. But wow. uh, at that time, with the family was in Philly, and I was at the hairdresser with my mom, and I'm eight year, about eight years old. Um, well, maybe I was five. I think I was eight. But anyway, but somewhere between eight, five and eight. So I'm going around as all the women are in um, the hairdresser with the um, with the dryers the on hood, their heads. Yes. Yes. And, or in the chairs, and I'm asking them a bunch of questions. Like, why are you doing that? And what's going on with your hair? And why does your hair look like that? And what are you doing with your hair? Why do you want your hair like that? So all of a sudden, <laughs> either it was my mother or one of the other women said, oh, my God, she's interrogating us. She needs to be a lawyer. And everybody in the hair, uh, hair salon started laughing, broke out in laughter. Because here I was walking to everybody, asking them 20 million questions. So that right. stuck in my head. Yes, yes. And I got the notion that I'm going to be a lawyer because I'm kind of good at asking all these questions. <laughs> Absolutely, that's yes. Kind of how it started. Oh yeah. wow, I mean, that that that's amazing. I didn't even I mean, know look, what a lawyer was. <laughs> right, <laughs> right. Time. So okay, so you you mentioned you from Philly. I'm just gonna I'm I'm just gonna jump on this right now. Oh. I'm a huge Philadelphia Eagles fan. Right. Okay. So, okay. so I mean, I, 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 yeah. So, look, I, I, I live and breathe with the Eagles. But yeah. I, I, so, okay, you said you in the hairdresser, hairdresser store with your mom, asking all, all these questions. You know, people saying, "Look, you're going to be an attorney." I, I mean, like, okay, so take me through like high school and then transitioning into college. And then what that really looked like for you, you know, when you started understanding, maybe I do want to be an attorney, you know, maybe oh, wow. t walk me through that. Well, that's very interesting. Um, I, I kind of alluded to the fact that I moved across the country and um, how do I say this? A, a lot of people um, in this country and around the world really have uh, a lot of adversities in life. Okay? Yes. Yeah. And I had mine. Yes. Um, and so uh, part of all of this moving around was because there were adversities in the family. And we'll just leave it at that because it was quite um, it was quite uh, disrupting. Yes. But nonetheless, uh, despite the adversities, I graduated from from high school with uh, yes. with honors. Yes. And um, that was my first real triumph. Despite everything that was happening, I did that. 
And so, um, and then, you know, a segue away from the practice of law, I uh, wanted to be a civil engineer and thus mm. my continued interest in architecture and building and, and homes. And I'm a real estate agent as well. And I, I bought, bought and sold properties and now I'd like to do some development. Yes. Um, so I had that desire uh, for, for property, for real estate, always did. Always did. So I do real estate closings as well. Awesome. But um, uh, but your initial question was college and, and uh, high school and then college. So I had a I had what's t- typically called uh, kind of a, a, a break, uh, a, a, a gap year. Uh, but mine was multiple gap years. <laughs> <laughs> and it's OK. That's and that's fine. <laughs> I, yeah, it was multiple gap years. And I worked. Uh, yes. Which was good for me because I have a I've used so much of what I did before I became an attorney before I went to, before I went to college right. I still used what I learned in the practice of law it mm, didn't go to right. waste that's right so I kind of started at the bottom and some and these young people need to understand back in the day we used to approach employers and and and, and agree to work for free and I did that's that right. more that's than right. once that's right these young yeah. people is shocking they want a hundred dollars an hour with no experience. Ah, tell me about it. I didn't do that. I worked a few places. I didn't have the experience. I worked for free. That's right. That's right. That that's important. I'm glad. I'm glad you said that because you know, I I, I remember you know same same thing with myself. Yeah. When when you're getting started and you're getting started in some place, you just want to go in and learn as much as you can. So yeah. you want to go in, soak all that information up. I don't care if you're paying me. The value is in the information that you're getting and and what you're learning in that process. So I'm glad you mentioned that because a lot of people probably miss that, especially for young people, if they're going to be watching this and listening to it. Yes. That's some great advice. Yes. And one of those jobs was at with an entertainment law firm out because um, I, 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 uh, I, I graduated from UCLA. So I was in, UCLA. I was in California. Yes. So I, I'm a really an Angelino. You know, okay. you know, I'm from, I was born and raised in Philly. I don't really, I'm an Angelino. I feel like I'm from LA. Well, I feel like I'm a Georgian now, of course, but gotcha. that's ancestral. Yes. That's in my bones. That's right. But, that's right. Um, <laughs> but uh, I ended up working for an entertainment lawyer, several actually. And uh, I started out as a file clerk and I did so well as a file clerk uh, for free that they hired me. So every time wow. I offered to work for free, I got hired. And I like I'll right. I'll work for you for free for a week. That's right. And I That's did right. it. Yes. I got hired. Um, and I still use those same filing uh systems and the old school way, even though yeah. I'm I'm a tech girl, I'm a tech lawyer, so I'm really into coding and I'm into the drop boxes and the clouds and yes. you know, the multiple domains and you know, I should be better with social media, I ain't gonna lie. It's all right. <laughs> Look, it's a process. A whole lot more than I'm doing. (laughs) Um, But uh, just as a segue into college, we were the first group that got the emails. Mm, You know, we were the first. We had to get them through the universities. They were the first people to offer a free email. Wow. There was no Yahoo. That's right. That's right. There was no no Yahoo, no Hotmail, none of that. There was no Hotmail. There was the university, EDU. Uh, uh, extension. Okay, that's the original. And, yes, yes, at UCLA, and we were we were at the forefront of that because, of course, it's a research uh, university, so we were at the top of the game in the, in terms of that. And um, and one of my colleagues, a very good friend of mine, uh, we were just talking, texting. We're going to do a Facetime soon, but I, thirty years ago, she was the one who said, "Sean, there's this new thing, this email, and they're giving them out at this administrative office." Blah blah blah. Go get that, and I did. Right. Um, and so, um, I don't know if I answered your question about the, the journey, but yeah. what ha- the final thing I'll say is what happened was when I graduated from high school, we were in a great recession. It was horrible mm. and the market was changing. And then Bill Gates said in four years, there will be a de- a PC on every desk in America. You guys can Google that it. and find that. It. And I said, oh, Lord, and (laughs) and the world was changing. And I really didn't know which wave I was going to hitch a ride on. And then I ultimately did a certificate. I did. I had four certifications before I went to college. Mm, See, I was certified in information automations. Yes. And so I caught that wave and I increased my income um, by thousands of dollars relatively quickly. 
That's right. Um, That's right. So before I went to college, I had, you know, a very good income, which I'm, you know, I got the benefit of in terms of my social security years. That's right. Okay? Man, so, you know, the, like, okay, so you talked about the certifications, you talked about, yes. you know, um, um, having that prior to, to, to going into college. So now at this point, um, where you are, you're in Henry County, you, you like, what types of clients do you represent or who, who is your target audience? Well, um, that's a good question. Um, so what I, my target audience right now are businesses and I do car accidents. When you get okay. to a certain level in your, in your, in your professional life, you can pick and choose what you want to do. Absolutely. And so my passion are businesses and, um, they are really a lot of things that businesses are doing that land them in court. And if right. maybe they had invested in the money, uh, for an attorney and some sound legal advice prior to um, entering into that contract or mm -hmm. even deciding who to partner with. That's incredibly important. You know, right. uh, spending money on the operating agreement, who's going to do what and what happens. Oh, gosh. If somebody, one of the partners dies, that yes. is so incredibly important. There's litigation about that. That's, that's right. That's turned into millions of dollars of, yes. of attorney's hours as well as settlement costs. And, and you know, you got to go to trial and all the fees associated with that, which eats into whatever mm -hmm. the original share of the of the business that person would have gotten because they didn't have an operating agreement or they didn't have a will. It's just shocking. So I do, <laughs> it, I do, it's all related and it's right. all about business. So I'm really passionate about um, helping uh, businesses in the community. Yes. And, um, and then my car accidents, of course, um, I am, a, I was a litigator for well over 20 years. So uh, mm. going to court every day, working a huge docket. So I did a lot of that. Um, but now um, my litigation is is limited to by choice. Mm. Um, to um, I'm sorry. No, I was going to say it's great when you could do that. Yes, uh, uh, to business law and car accidents, and then I I'm, I want to do my development. I I have a passion for real estate, but now I right. want to go on the development side of it. And um, I'm looking. I'm actually going to do some CAD uh, renderings uh, soon. Okay. And then I, okay. I do zoning laws. I help municipalities with zoning and um, employment. I'm sorry. I do DEI uh, stuff as well as um, and just EEOC uh, discrimination matters. So, so I do car accidents, employment, and business law. Which you know the employment discrimination complaints against employers. I handle those. Let me interrupt this broadcast to share this information with you. The I'm Local podcast is brought to you by My Local Henry. We are Henry Magazine and the Henry County Chamber of Commerce. My Local Henry is a local directory in Henry County dedicated to featuring small businesses and showcasing all the latest events in Henry County, Georgia. List your business as a free local listing or upgrade for a featured business listing. Learn more at mylocalhenry.com. The podcast is also brought to you by We Are Henry magazine. Since 2012, We Are Henry has set the standard for excellence as the premier hometown magazine for citizens of our wonderful community. With a vision and a passion to connect family and friends through experiences, We Are Henry's pages are filled with human interest stories, information on local events, dining, and all the happenings that make our county so special. We are dedicated to telling the stories of the great people in Henry County. The more we learn and know about these that live around us, the more we are able to become a tight knit group of citizens. We are moving and growing together and our community is our home and we are Henry. The I'm Local podcast is also brought to you by the Henry County Chamber of Commerce. The Henry County Chamber of Commerce is a nonprofit organization dedicated to improving the business's climate and making our community the best place to live, work, and play. Founded more than 50 years ago in 1967, your chamber is a highly proactive and visible influence in Henry County and the entire South Metro region. The ultimate task of the chamber is an economic development. Not only do they work to bring new businesses into our rapidly growing county. They also strive to ensure 
that our existing businesses strive and that newcomers and visitors recognize what Henry County has to offer. As such, the Convention and Visitors Bureau operates under the umbrella of the chamber. Now, let's get back to our regularly scheduled programming. Right. So, I mean, a, a couple more questions. So what do you say to, to, to businesses? Because you mentioned, you know, businesses, they don't take advantage of services that you offer. You're going into business, you're signing contracts, you're doing all of this stuff. What do you say to businesses that they may say, oh, man, for me to get an attorney, that's just going to be too much. That's going to that, that's going to be too much. When they hear the word attorney, they say they think, man, this is going to be hundreds of thousands of dollars that I need to spend. To, it, so, to, you know, to, to get started. So what, what do you say to that? Well, um, you know, what I'll say to that is recently I just saw Taraji P. Henson's um, comments and everyone's worried that she's going to leave acting because she doesn't feel that she's getting paid what mm. she deserves. That's right. And there, yep. and she made mention of the cost associated. All the people on her team need to get paid. I saw that. Yes. Right. So it, it is disheartening to have so many people call me wanting free legal advice. Yeah. It's yeah. very devastating because like Taraji said, what is that saying about me? Right. I spent over almost $300,000 for my education. That's right. Why should anybody get that for free? Nobody you can't should. go to a doctor. Right. You can't go to an accountant for a free diagnosis for anything. Or you got That's an right. IRS ta tax lien. You can't go to that accountant and say, fix my problem and help me out for free. You can't do that. That's, so that's what right. does that say about me as a black female attorney that I have to deal every day with the onslaught of people yes. calling, asking, demanding sometimes for mm. free yeah. help? Yeah, I'm not yeah. my I'm and, and my name is Dr. Sean Council Esquire. My law firm is Sean Council Law Firm LLC. It does not say indigent services. It right. does not say right. nonprofit legal services. That's not I mean, it does not say legal aid. That's not who I am. That's right. So, That's right. I, so what do I say to businesses? Pay now or pay yeah. later? Take mm. a pick. That that's 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 powerful. I, lo I love that. <laughs> I love it. I love it. These, and, and keep in mind, we didn't create this problem. Why? Because you did not come to me before right. this all started. Right. In embryonic, right. in embryonic uh, settings. In the beginning. That's right. You didn't come to me. Mm. You went mm. ahead and did this on your own, or you went ahead and went to court as a pro se litigant, and things didn't turn out well. That's, that's right. clean up work. We can say yeah. yay or nay. We're going to do that. That's Most right. of the time, I deny, I decline those. Why? Because they're messy. Mm -hmm. Wow, man! That see, see that that right there. I'm glad you said that because that's where a lot of businesses are, and that's where because you know a lot of people think, like you said, that because you know they they feel like, oh man, I could just go to this person and you know I, I, I'm gonna try and get whatever I can get for free. But yeah. you put in the work, you spent the money, you did the same thing that everybody else did. Yeah. So why should you lower your services yes. uh, and, and for, for somebody else? That's powerful. I'm glad you said that. And I'm glad that's documented. So people are, that are going to watch and listen to, listen to this are going to hear that. That's that, Thank you for sharing that. And as an entrepreneur, just uh, to follow up, and I know we're going to wind this up, but yes. how would you feel if somebody did that to you? Absolutely. If somebody called you five and 10, 15 people. And sometimes it's, it's at least five people a day. They called wow. you and asked you for your services for free. That's like there, there is no slavery. You no. want me to do all this work for you? Right. We have to free? eat, too. We have families. I am nobody's <laughs> slave. That's right. That's right. I'm glad you said that. So, OK. And, and, and wrapping this up, um, this this segment here is called Rapid Fire. So. I'm, I'm going to ask you a couple quick questions, you know, answer them uh, um, as you can, and then we'll, we'll move forward. So <laughs> what are you gonna the, ask me? <laughs> the, 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 first, the first question is, do you have any hidden talents that nobody knows about? I sing. Oh, you sing. Okay. Yes. Okay. So look, I, I, we may have to put you on the spot now. We may have to put <laughs> oh, you on God. the spot. Okay. <laughs> let, let's hear what? something. 
Let's hear something. What you got? Oh no. What 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 do you want me to sing? Oh my goodness. I have no no not now. Don't put me out okay, of spot. Okay, okay, all right. All right. We'll we'll hold off on that one. All right. So let let me ask you this. Like what? in the community right now, what's your favorite restaurant or favorite place to go or or something local? What what what's that place? My local place? Ah um Wow. Oh, there's this new restaurant that I really like called Green Front okay. in Stockbridge. It's in Stockbridge, and, yes. Yes. And it has soul food and Jamaican food. Okay. And I just met this woman. Her name is Donna. And she revamped. And there's a whole history about Green Front Cafe in yes. Stockbridge. And it was okay. when Stockbridge was segregated. And yes. everybody came there and ate despite the segregation laws. And there's a rumor that Martin Luther King ate there as well as his father. You know, their names were yes. Michael before um he changed them to Martin, if, if people don't know. Um, right. But uh, yeah, he saw the importance of the Martin Luther. So he changed it because he, he, Martin Luther King's name was Michael, um, mm. Michael King uh, Jr. History. And his father was senior. But anyway, um, so is, there's a whole history about all the politicos that passed through this restaurant. So I went there. It was so, the food was good too. I got uh, some catfish I, and some I can greens. only imagine. I was happy. And of course, the cornbread, <laughs> I was happy, but I took a lot of pictures. And the yes. woman who um, started that restaurant, she died uh, just recently. And then wow. Donna and uh, her husband took it over. And it's really cute. And the food was good. So he told me, come back for some jerk chicken. I, she okay. said, they don't have to carry goat rice and peas. And he, but she said, if you tell me that you're coming, I'll have my husband make it for you. I said, okay. Okay. <laughs> so that's what you, I like. I like my well, curry goat, my rice, and my peas. Gotcha. <laughs> gotcha. Okay. So I, I'm, I'm glad you said that because now that's going to be one of the next stops that I, I go over and-, and, and Yeah, go and, visit that and, restaurant. I'm going to visit and, them. And support that business. Yeah, awesome. I'm going to do that. So um, I appreciate you being on today. So is where can people, um, if they want to get in contact with you, where can they find you? Where can they go to to, to communicate with you and, and, and really use, utilize your services? Well, you can actually find me and book an appointment, um, a paid appointment. Oh, by the way, car accidents are free free of consultations yes. and sign okay. you all up. Um, but all the other consultations, there is a small fee, a nominal fee. Um, and you can find me at www.shawncounsellawfirm.com and book your appointment. The various services are there and available for you. Uh, yes. You can also reach me at 678-466-6910. Um, and, um, but I also have a, available on the website. You can text with me. You can chat with me. You okay. can, uh, the email. I don't know if I, I think I took the emails off because I was getting a lot of improper Spam. emails. Yeah. Right. Yes. Um, but uh, you can use the chat feature. And uh, if you have a legal question and then that gets forwarded to my email and I respond to that because I know it's legitimate and I just put your contact information in there. Um, and I do have a podcast myself called True Honest Talk. Uh, okay. And so you can find a, a link to that on my website. And there's uh, various kinds of uh, uh, relevant legal information on my website as well as well as videos. Awesome. That that that's great. And I know you could also find Dr. Council on mylocalhenry.com. You yes, can find okay. her there because I know she has a listing there. So yes, um yes. so I uh, again look, I I really appreciate uh your your time. I know you know you you are you are busy, you're doing great things in this community. I want you guys that are listening to this and, and gonna watch this also to go and support Dr. Council. She's in this community. She's here to serve you. Don't go to Atlanta. She's right here in our local yes. community. Don't bypass her. Give her a call. Go on the website. Do the uh, consultation and support a local business. So, Dr. Council, thank you for joining me today on the I'm Local podcast. Truly appreciate you. And thank you so much for having me, Lincoln. And I will support your business endeavors as well. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye.